This UCSD TV program is a presentation of University of California Television for educational and non commercial use only. From aerospace, mechanical, and bioengineering to structural, nano, electronic, and computer engineering, the Jacobs School of Engineering at UC San Diego is known for its stellar research. But the Jacobs School of Engineering's most important product is its students. To fulfill its mission of educating tomorrow's technology leaders, the Jacobs School offers several model undergraduate programs that foster innovation and leadership and teach not only engineering, but teamwork. The school's Global Ties program brings together undergraduate engineers across disciplines, creating teams to provide for the needs of others. Right now we work with a nonprofit Gawa Kalinga, which their goal is to end poverty in the Philippines by 2024. A big issue in the Philippines is water contamination. So we want to be able to give these people a safe drinking water system. Currently we are working on a design that's known as a biosand filter, which requires no kind of no kind of energy whatsoever. It filters the water through a system of uh, sand, gravel, and a biolayer, which forms after running the system for a while. A biolayer forms on the top called smudge deck, which kills all the pathogens. You get that experience, the industry experience, and that experience of working with a team, and you learn that team interaction, how to deal with problems, and um, how to solve problems with a team. So it's been a really, really fulfilling experience. What we're actually doing is giving students a rare opportunity to apply their skills to a real project with a real customer where they have to come up with a real deliverable. We're trying to instill in students the humanitarian spirit, the sense that you can do well, but you can also do good. Ties open my eyes so that I can combine my passion for helping people and my passion for engineering into one career path. And we all kind of collaborate together and come up with the ideas, and when we actually implement it, we get the chance to learn from each other and learn from different majors. This program has, such, has had such a profound uh, impact on uh, my own view of, of what engineering is in my desire to, to be an engineer and, and to contribute. The Team Internship Program, or TIP, is part of the Jacobs School's effort to enhance the student's education through real-world engineering experiences in a team setting. Students work on-site with industry partners, both domestically and internationally, as a multidisciplinary team focused on a clearly defined and significant project. The students have a really unique opportunity when they join the team internship program. And I tell them it's like a regular internship in that it's paid. You work at the company and it's during the summer. Then you go beyond that. It's not like a regular internship and in that the students are working on a team. The team internship program approached me and said, you know, Viasat loves to do team programs. Um, would you be interested in being part of a team instead of just doing a solo project? They just put me on a team um, of people that were also going to Viasat and that's how it began. The fact that they're on a team makes it even better because if they don't know something, they can turn to their teammate and be like, um, I'm not really sure. And maybe that person actually has expertise in that area. And if we ever needed anything, just turn around and start talking, you know? And we had two whiteboards in this little cubicle of ours. And um, anytime there was ever a disagreement, we could just start, you know, talking about, well, why do you think this way? Why do you think that way? And in the end, we would always come to a consensus. It's a really great collaborative environment that the students can really um, come up with something successful and tangible that they can then put on their resumes and be like, look, I don't only know my stuff, I can do it. And what I really learned from this experience particularly was that when you go into industry and when you go out into the workforce, it isn't about what you know. It's about how you can communicate what you know and how you can understand what other people know so that you can make progress on a project. In another project with outside industry partners, Jacobs School undergraduate engineering students work together to create innovative and groundbreaking products for real-world applications. This is a lab that was founded as a partnership between National Geographic and UCSD. And uh, basically what it is is it's undergraduate students working on projects that are actually going to go out into the field and make exploration easier for National Geographic explorers. Basically this is an aerial video platform um, that would be a much cheaper alternative to a helicopter in the field. 
So this device was built to actually hold a camera, which sits uh, underneath the housing right about here. And that camera um, has a live feedback, so a camera person sitting there operating, and all the time it's recording. And basically, we're able to get uh, images of lots of things that before were sort of left out of the realm of possibility in the field. And this thing, this whole thing, um, folds up into a backpack and can charge in about you know an hour or so to get in the air. And our flight time is between like 15 and 20 minutes. I will be accompanying uh, Albert Lin, who is a research scientist at UCSD. Uh, I'll be going with him on a trip to Mongolia to look for the tomb of Genghis Khan. Essentially what we'll be doing is using this as a photo generating device to try to generate images from the air. And ideally if we collect enough data we'd like to build a 3D map of this whole area. The applications of this I have to say extend you know, far beyond just getting a couple pretty pictures from the air, which people have been able to do for a while now. But if you can envision you know, maybe 30 of these things communicating in the air and flying sort of in like the flying V pattern or in a cloud pattern. Your, your point cloud of data grows exponentially. It's to the point that you're getting enough data to actually do viable real-time research with it. And the fact that these projects are actually going to be go out and be deployed, not just by you know, students with, with an idea to go out and deploy it, but with an agency that's, that's you know, so universally recognized, um, that's very interested in the data that we're collecting, I, I, it's, it's lit a fire, I, I think, under the students' involvement in this program. <laughs>